welcome to our daily review for April the 3rd, 2018. Um, today, um, we'll take a look at what happened in the markets um, today uh, on this trading day and what to expect coming up. Okay, so the first thing um, that I want to talk about is our regular, um, the risk on risk off environment that we have currently. Yesterday, we had a risk off environment where the, um, the equity markets were dropping. And today we have risk on environment where equity markets went up, um, Wall Street went up, um, Amazon stocks went up, and as a result of that, the entire market was up. But Japanese yen actually, but Japanese yen actually dropped as a result of that. Um, so that's what happens when we have a risk off, um, sorry, risk on environment. When we have a risk off environment, Japanese yen and other safe uh, haven assets like gold, uh, Swiss franc bonds will actually go up. So today it was the completely opposite, even though uh, based on the daily uh, market analysis yesterday, uh, we were looking for yen crosses to drop. Today they didn't drop, they actually went up instead because the equity markets turned around. So currently um, we are hearing a lot about the tariffs um, from the US and China is uh, basically putting tariffs on US products. Uh, in retaliation. So that's what's going on uh, currently in the market. So um, right now, the Asian markets have opened up. Nikkei's opened up. It gapped up and now it's filled the gap. But overall, the markets are equity markets are bullish, which means yen crosses won't be as bullish or there's no safe haven flows coming into the yen crosses or Swiss franc crosses at the moment. Another thing that um, another uh, pair that uh, actually worked out really well today was Canadian dollar CAD. Canadian dollar was bullish today, and and the reason behind that was because of the NAFTA talk. So President um, uh, President um, uh, we hear, heard from. Um, Sorry, uh, we heard that he wanted the NAFTA talks to actually um, go go on. He wanted the NAFTA agreement to be reached quickly. As a result of that, um, we saw uh, we saw Canadian dollar go up, which means dollar CAD drop. So there were some really nice um, dollar CAD trades, and we also had Euro CAD, Pound CAD trades that set up quite nicely. I'll post some charts after we are done here. Um, and then um, I'll, and I'll mark up the charts and see how these trades can be taken up um, next time they present themselves. So oil actually dropped. Generally, when oil dropped, dollar CAD um, usually goes up. But this time, dollar CAD went down, even though oil went down, because um, it was driven more from sentiment, not so much from um, from the, the correlations perspective. So the sentiment was uh, bullish for Canadian dollar because of the likelihood of NAFTA agreement being reached. Um, and as a result, we saw Canadian dollar get really strong. So that's what's, um, that's, those are the main uh, things that happened in the market in terms of trade setups. I will uh, post three different charts. Um, the most of the the best trade setups were really euro cad pound cad dollar cad those were the the great opportunity or the ones that presented great opportunities um i did get stuck in uh, in uh, yen yen trades because i was looking for markets to show us give us some follow through from yesterday that did not happen um, so for now, I am just sitting on the sidelines in terms of uh, the yen trade. So in the morning in London session, uh, we'll take a look at what sets up and a trade according to that. But uh, but the CAD crosses did have um, a down day because Canadian dollar was more bullish. Uh, and in terms of other questions that I want to look at here, um, did I follow my trade plan today? Um, I think I got too biased in my yen trade. So that's something that I could do differently going forward. I need to um, 
get out of my trades a little bit quicker than I am doing right now. So I just need to uh, make sure I stay on top of that. Um, in terms of uh, what changes, so those are the changes that I need to uh, make going forward. So as part of my daily accountability, one of the things that I also do is I post three um, charts here. Those are the, uh, the trades that set up and the uh, purpose of posting these um, charts are because if we can see the trade setups in the past, we will be able to see them in the future as well. So this is way to ingrain these trade setups in our brain so that next time they set up, we are able to take these trades. So I will uh, mark up the charts. I will post them in the um, in our Facebook group. So if you guys have any questions about those charts uh, or about how I look at uh, those markets, please feel free to ask those questions and I will come back and answer those. So you guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you again tomorrow at the same time. Bye for now.